What's up guys? So it's been quite a while since I put a video out, I think. Uh, I don't even know if I put like a final one of that, that Cobra that I painted like two months ago. Um, but I might have enough stuff to kind of put something together for that one. But anyway, uh, after that one left, uh, we brought that in. Uh, we built a Model A for him a couple years ago. Uh, didn't do a video or anything of it. Maybe one day. Um, but anyway, uh, an oil leak, and he wanted to pull the motor out, get the engine looked at, figure out what was what was wrong with it, and repaint the engine. Basically, just clean up the whole engine compartment. And uh, <clears throat> excuse me. So once the Cobra was done, I was like, okay, let's you know get your Nova down, and we'll get it. Uh, Take a look at it. So, pulled the motor. It, it turned for us. Go for it. it turned into a lot more than it was we were planning on. Uh, like a lot of things, you know, stuff snowballs. Um, but uh, it ended up <laughs> turning into redoing all the brakes and you know calipers and rotors and the master cylinder booster, the whole flushing out system, wheel cylinders, and everything. Um, so. Let me fl I'll flip the camera around and uh, do a little walk around of the car. All right, so the 70 True SS 396, 375 horse, four speed, posi, 12 volt, all numbers matching. Everything that he did change on it, like the intake, and the exhaust manifolds, all that kind of stuff. He still has all the original stuff. Car has just under 23,000 miles. I don't remember if I said that before. Uh, original miles, he is the original owner. Ordered it new in, he ordered it and picked it up in May, March of 70. That said it had one repaint and it was just because it died there was no rust fix there was no nothing of a sort it was basically strip it do any kind of you know, fix little dingers or you know parking lot dents that kind of stuff and repaint it <coughs> the original color so all the these are all original door panels the carpet seats the headliner even the package tray in the back everything is all original he has a Hearst Hearst shifter in it so that's changed but he, I said he has the original one yet no he was a racer he was a hot rod guy back in the I think him and his brother actually had a, like, kind of a speed shop uh, in the early 70s. So I'll show you what we, were, what we were working on. All right, so I said he had an oil leak. Uh, so he pulled the motor, addressed that, uh, and then set the flywheel, or took the flywheel, had that resurfaced. Um... Cleaned up the engine then after that was that the engine was taken care of. Repainted it. Uh glass bead the valve covers. Uh because I think he clear coated them when they were when he put them on. As same with the intakes, uh Edelbrock. I'm not exactly sure which one it is, but he has the original one. And the original valve covers. That's the original air cleaner lid. Um and he clear coated them and just with the heat and over time they just got yellowed so i taped off the uh chevy script and the bow tie and stuff and glass beaded them <clears throat> got all that stuff cleaned up clean painted all the stripped all the pulleys in the alternator bracket the fan um repainted all that kind of stuff uh took the inner pans out sandblasted those i redid the uh like the gravel guard up on the insides of them. Uh, 
took the uh, dust covers off and then restapled those back on. Uh, painted the subframe. They cleaned all that up. Repainted that. Uh, took all the wiring off. Cleaned up the firewall. And we're going to re redo. This is where the brake stuff comes in. So at some point after we had painted at the collision shop. Um, he had done. Eastwood sells that uh, cat plating. Like air at the air socket. To where you can you know kind of make it simulate the cat plating <coughs> excuse me so he had done that the original booster and it looked you know okay but it was starting to get a little funky and stuff so like well why don't we you know put a new booster on it you know that way everything everything will look nice so i was taking the master cylinder off and the master cylinder's leaking so it's like all right well let's just get another master cylinder for it that way all that stuff is fresh so when i was getting ready to take the inner pans out i had noticed the inside of the wheel on this side was like super wet and just like grungy and stuff so i was like ah shit what the hell's going on with that so pull the wheel off and it's like everything over here is just wet so i was like the freaking calipers leaking or you know the hose is leaking or something something's not happy over here on the right front so, I take the, take the caliper off, and I take the bolts out, can't get the caliper off. So, I'm like prying this thing <laughs> to get it off. So, I got the caliper like squeezed together enough, or uh, the piston in far enough that you could get the uh, caliper off. So, I don't know exactly what happened, but the piston was kind of on an angle, and the seal was all screwed up. And um, the rotor was just hammered in the back. It's like a massive groove in the back of the, and it's the original rotors, so there was no, there was no cutting it. So we ended up getting two new calipers, two new rotors, and he had done the same uh, CAD plating treatment or the painting on the caliper brackets. So I have a buddy down in Florida that does plating. So I sent the backing plates and the caliper brackets to get done. Uh, so that held up, held us up for a little bit with getting the brakes back together. But you know that's that stuff's all done. It's the original stuff that's on the car, not just uh, replacement stuff. I even wanted to send the cal the the original calipers out to have them redone. But he's like, eh, you know, maybe I'll do it. I'll do it sometime later. Um, so yeah, and we sent the headers out to have them recoded because uh, they were looking kind of funky. We had new stainless uh, header bolts and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, cleaned up some of the wiring, retaped just like retaped it so it looked fresh. And uh, so yeah. And the hood, the hood had some like nicks and stuff on it that were starting to rust and whatnot. So, well, the hood was off. Flip it over. Well, we got new inserts and stuff because that one was pretty funky. I don't know if it rides on. I don't know if it kind of sits on the air cleaner or not. Um, it kind of looked like it may have been started or like driven at some point with the air cleaner off and maybe it shot flames up in there and kind of scorched it a little bit, but replaced those, I you know, painted the other side of the hood, replaced those. So, you know, I didn't do anything with the, with the rat support or anything. Uh, just, you know, clean this stuff up, clean up the uh, fan shroud and stuff. And then just clean up the whole car. New cap rotor, new plugs. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Oh, sent the carburetor out. Uh, it's the original carburetor. Had that um, rebuilt and kind of restored. So it has a nice... I don't know if you can... Man, it's kind of hard to see under there, but... It's all... Let me take the... Why don't I just take the air cleaner off? So 
So it's all prettied up. And this is the original air cleaner for the car. He did at some point change it to a HEI setup. But he still has the original air cleaner. Let me fire this thing up quick. Choke's not hooked up, so it's a little bit of a pain to keep running. It's a little on the cold side, but. Gotta turn the idle up a little bit on it. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Took it up for a took it up the row once we got it all together and. Sure everything was running right in the earth I didn't notice it when I first pulled it in the garage uh, once I started it and we got it fired up and everything got the timing set I was like I don't remember the the blower motor you hear the blower motor brought into the the fan running inside the car and i didn't remember remember it being like that when it got here and you know i did have everything everything disconnected under the hood and i was like eh, i don't know so he stopped over and i asked him i said did you ever notice that the uh the the fan keeps running he's like you know what now that you mention it i do so i pulled the pulled the dash apart and stuff i didn't know if maybe might be the switch on the uh heater control unit so i did that yesterday as so i pulled a cluster out and everything <clears throat> the radio and everything and the i think i took a picture of it maybe i could insert it here but for anyone that's ever seen what one of those looks like the so this one pull it down so it either lets air in through here through the unit and then once it gets down to here the fan kicks on so it has this like kind of like a zigzaggy rod or bar on there that and that's on the switch and then it rides on that and it's just held on with a, a clip well the clip apparently popped off well while the switch was on high so you can move that the heater control unit all day but it's not gonna turn it's not gonna turn the switch off so thankfully it was a easy fix put it back on Reached it up a little bit, put a new clip on it, and it's all good. Oh, this was another thing. Because you always wanted to put a spoiler on it. So when uh put the spoiler on it when we painted it down there. That was like a ball of motion spoiler or something. Or just an aftermarket spoiler. But yeah. That's about it. All right, yeah, so this one's basically done. Hopefully the weather's nice and you can come take it home tomorrow. And then uh, at some point I gotta get back on that uh, Valiant in there. I was hoping to get it painted this year before it gets too cold, but I don't know. It just keeps needing like little shit and still gotta mount the hood. 
um, putting hood pins in it. So I make all the brackets and stuff to do that. Uh, if it doesn't line up <laughs> where I want the pin to come through on the hood. So it's just a lot of little crap. I still got to prime the hood. And I didn't want to prime that until I had all the holes drilled in it. That kind of shit. So I think there's a cameo coming. It needs some paint work. There's a 67 vet that needs some fiberglass work. And then that'll need some paint work. But I think that stuff's going to... I think the cameo is going to be kind of, a, kind of a quick thing. So... And it's not like a show car or anything. It just um, needs some work done. My dad put floors in it earlier this year. Um, and then he took it home and he was going to take care of a lot of it. But the outer stuff, oh, he put cap corners in it too. Um, so we do some damn bugs. Uh, a little bit of body work on the cap corners. Get those, in, or get those in primer. And basically just painting the rockers. Uh, the floor where the kind of sill is uh, inside and the back of the cab I think eventually he bought a um, I keep dropping a camera um, he bought a sun visor for it that he wants to put on uh, and we're going to paint the roof uh, at some point uh, right now he just wants to get the back of the cab done and so he can put the bed back together which I started doing a video on this truck actually earlier this year. He found um, all new, or not, not new, nicer uh, bed panels, the inner bed, the metal parts of the bed, uh, the bed sides, the headboard, I think a tailgate. Um, yeah. So I had sandblasted those and painted them. So, and he bought all new wood, a new wood kit and stuff, and basically got the bed ready to go. I still got to paint the outer tailgate panel. Uh, it's fiberglass, and he uh, got a new one. So that's going to need a little bit of work. Um, but I figured I'd paint that probably at a different time. Uh, they can get done whenever. But basically get the body, back of the body painted so that he can get the bed back on the frame and it's not taking up so much room at his place. Uh, so that's kind of what the goal is. Um, I think the roof was white and the back, everything else, the back of it was, I don't even remember. I have to look at it again. But anyway, I just drag it on. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, maybe once that comes over, I'll, uh, I can add the old videos that I did of the bed to videos of that because I never completed anything because uh, I knew it was going to be coming back eventually and figured I'd kind of piece it all together. Um, so yeah, that's what I'll do with that. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.